Hi everyone, I'm Diala, I'm from Vancouver, and I'm a design major and nutrition science minor. Hi, I'm Nadia, I'm from Fresno, California, I'm a design major with a communications minor. Hi, I'm Saval, I'm from Stockton, California, I'm a bio major with a human development minor. And I'm Elisa, I'm double major in international relations and design, and I'm from Ecuador. And we as a team have created BioBandage. We created a bandage that is mainly made out of bacterial cellulose. We aim to heal people and our planet. So why do we create BioBandage? We envision a future that no longer relies on single-use plastic. A future where all products, no matter the size, are made out of biodegradable materials. And the process, as well as the disposal, is environmentally friendly. However, we do acknowledge that it's not enough for a product to be biodegradable or environmentally friendly. It has to perform at the same level, or even better, than the product that it is replacing. So besides creating a fully functional product, we also wanted to, <laughs> to convey the powerful metaphor of, how, of healing and how small choices can make a big impact. And that is what we have made with BioVantage. So let's start with the commercial vantage. They are made out of non-removable resources like plastic and harmful chemicals. They will not biodegrade and they will leave harmful traces like microplastics or chemicals behind in our landfills or as litter in our environment. Last year, there were 41.1 million units of bandages sold only in the US. And all that will end up in our landfills or our Earth environment. So we needed to solve different problems in order to redesign the bandage and make one that is all natural, biodegradable, and plastic free while still performing equally or even better than the regular bandage. We had to solve six major challenges. Durability, flexibility, absorbency, hydrophobicity, stick to the body, however, not stick to the wound. Plus, we wanted to use our material efficiently, making as many parts as possible out of a single material. As a team, we accepted those six challenges con gusto. <laughs> Another thing that makes our product different is its life cycle. The commercial bandage has a linear life cycle. It is created out of non-renewable materials. It is used and then disposed in landfills or environment. It will leave traces behind like microplastics or harmful chemicals. Our bio bandage has a circular or cradle to cradle life cycle. It is created out of renewable materials. It is used and then disposed. It will go back to our environment and nourish our planet without leaving any harmful chemicals behind. Okay, so how many of you have used a bandage before? <laughs> okay, everyone. <laughs> okay, so hospitals currently use bacterial cellulose in various products and procedures, such as for skin repairs, for diagnostic sensors, and as wound dressings for burn victims. For this reason, one of the groups um, that we considered our non-users for are hospital caregivers, who could use our bandages on their patients since they have prior experience working with bacterial cellulose in medicine. Our goal was to move the use of bacterial cellulose out of the hospital and to an everyday product such as bandages for the consumers. Our design process. So as you know, design is an iterative process. We took many different approaches to solve the problems we identified earlier, and in the end, we created our final product, which is the BioVantage. And additionally, we wanted to add healing properties to our bandage. So the layers of our bandage. The first layer is the bacterial cellulose backing, which creates a moist environment for optimal wound healing and is a flexible material for backing. Next on that backing, we added our aerogel gauze for absorbency. And then on that aerogel gauze, we created a thin bacterial cellulose paper, which we incorporated our healing properties into using our lavender oil and vitamin K powder so that they have direct contact with your wound. And then we took that paper and we used a laser cutter to make microscopic holes in the paper. This allows fluid to flow through, 
while preventing the aerosol glass from sticking to your wound. And lastly, we had our gum Arabic glue, which is our bioadhesive. We added that to the ends of the bandage so that it could stick to your skin. So what am I made of? I'm going to go into a little detail on the products we used and why we chose to work with these specifically to solve our problems. So first we have bacterial cellulose. We chose to work with bacterial cellulose because it's proven to be biodegradable. It has beta-1,4 linkage, which makes it a very strong and breathable material. It has flexibility, and it can be grown from agricultural waste or products that aren't used, which would cut down on transportation costs, buying materials, and reduce the amount of waste in our environment. Next we have corn seed, which was used for its hydrophobic properties. So we took our bacteria cellulose and we treated it with ethanol and water and then added back um, the corn zinc to that mix. That corn zinc created a hydrophobic layer and then we dried our bacteria cellulose so that the end product had a water resistant layer. Next we have our lavender oil and vitamin K, which were both used for their healing properties. So lavender oil um, accelerates tissue formation, which reduces scarring, and vitamin K powder has blood clotting properties. Next we have our gum arabic glue, which we use gum arabic powder in. So um, the gum arabic powder is a sticky substance excreted by the acacia plant, and it is shown to reduce inflammation and irritation. So many people use it as a topical wound healing treatment. So if you use our bandage and the glue leaves behind a residue on your skin, that residue will contain the gum arabic powder in it, which will add additional healing properties for your wound. <laughs> so why should you choose bio bandage? First, we replace the synthetic gauze of a regular plastic bandage, as seen in the first image, with our bacteria cellulose aerogel. Our aerogel is less dense and it has a porous structure. Having a porous structure uh, gives it great absorbency. Then in materials, it allows for <clears throat> materials like vitamin K and lavender oil to be infused within, and it can allow users to make a customizable aspect of it, and they can select combinations that appeal to them, like if they have a certain allergy, for example, and we chose lavender oil because of its properties, but we can substitute it with other medicinal plants with similar healing effects and change it with a different color. <coughs> so for blood absorption, as others know, aerogel is more absorbent than regular cotton. And our testing shows that our aerogel also beats gauze with water and blood. We, well, we saturated to the point of seepage, and in the photo in the top left, you can see the flipped over commercial gauze which seepage through. Our aerogel still had the capacity to absorb more blood, and its superior absorbing gives our bandage a longer lifespan and allows users the efficiency to use less wound, less bandages per wound. In addition to being functional and sustainable, we didn't want to lose out on inclusivity and fun. And when we surveyed a number of potential users, more than 60% said that they were willing to use BC-based wound care. So that is why we created skin tones and moods to match for all. So whether the user wants a bandage that matches their skin, their outfit, or how they're feeling, they can still be cool and sustainable. <laughs> so for the future of BioBandage, we're really hoping to incorporate extracellular matrix factors into our product for the regeneration of skin, promotion of growth in new cells, and of course to reduce the appearance of scars. Um, as knowledge and research in tissue regeneration and extracellular matrix factors progresses, we fully intend to incorporate these new advancements in biotechnology into our product for social good. Along with creating a product that is both sustainable and functional, we really wanted BioVantage to be more than just a band-aid. We really wanted it to be like a model for social responsibility that we have as manufacturers to create these sustainable products and bring them to market. 
Um, in the making of our final product, we made sure that it would not pose more risks to the environment by formulating it with OSHA guidelines in regards to disposal of potential wastes uh, and extra wastes. OSHA um, measures the product's potential or potential hazard based off the product's um, potential to release these hazardous fluids into our environment. And because our aerogels are so absorbent, they actually perform similar to those of feminine pads. So if they were to end up in our environment or in our landfills, they would still be in accordance with OSHA guidelines in regards to the bloodborne pathogen standards. And if you still think you can skate on by using those plastic products, consider this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fine. Just, just get a band aid. I don't need a band aid. Which is better? Our biomedic is made out of biodegradable fabrics, and they're not treated with harsh chemicals, so they're good for sensitive skin. What is your bandage made of? <laughs> oh, well, mine's not made of biodegradable material, but it's made of plastic and other harsh chemicals. What else does your bandage do? My bio bandit is engineered to be water resistant and possess healing properties such as vitamin K and lavender oil to help with the blood clotting process and the reduction of scars. Well, mine doesn't have any extra healing properties. It's just made to cover your wound. So how does your bandage affect the environment? Well, I think mine is perfect. I don't think it has any problems. Actually, yours has a lot of problems. <laughs> Your plastic bandage is full of harmful chemicals that hurt the environment. Not only do they contain plastic and have burned tons of fossil fuels, they leave traces of microplastics behind. In addition to that, they also end up everywhere. Even though they're small, they cause big problems. <laughs> Our bandages are 100% biodegradable. These adhesive bandages can be thrown in the compost after use and will break down in the natural environment within weeks. Our bandages were designed to perform at the same levels of plastic bandages in terms of flexibility, cleanliness, absorbency, and water resistance. Well, I'm a person that cares about the environment, and I want my small choice to make a big impact. So, I'm going to go with the bio bandage. Question is maybe a little more abstract, which is like, did you put um, 
Did you think a little bit about what would happen if you wanted to scale this process to replace all 41 million bandages that were applied uh, this year? Uh, and and uh, how, how might you adapt some of the processes that you developed into bigger scale? Okay, so I can answer the sterilization question. So since it's currently used in hospitals, they go through a sterilization process using NEOH, which we would incorporate into our life cycle too to sterilize it. And the NEOH we would use food grade so that it's not toxic and can be used. We didn't scale our product, but <laughs> not yet. Uh, hospitals already use it. And there's uh, in the Philippines, Nata de Coco. And they make products uh, at by scale using this. So, and we also will cut production costs by using ag waste. So that will lower the cost. But we are not 100% sure on the scale yet. Like when, when hospitals make it, do they make it on site, or is there like is there a company that sells the cellulose like pre-made and sterilized? Like, and, and yeah, did you look into those kinds of processes? No. There's actually, there are companies that do make these bandages. Um, in the UK, I know that they do implement these in their hospitals. Um, I'm just, I don't think we use them in the US just yet. Mm -hmm. The bacterial cellulose, not yeah. these exact bandages. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So, so hi, on that side, thank you so much for a <coughs> wonderful presentation. I have a question about the supply chain of fermentation and perhaps at scale. Um, what, did you look into feedstocks and what that looks like when we're trying to replace that many bandages um, to service everybody's needs? Well, um, we would have to replace <coughs> fossil, we're replacing fossil fuels basically with like other energy, like uh, sugar for example. So that's a problem that is gonna happen with any product I think in the future, either we do uh, fuel out of sugar or corn or whatever, that's gonna be a huge problem, not only for us, but for other major companies, I guess, that are working with this type of thing. Mm -hmm. Great presentation, thank you. I have a question. Uh, if you're like me, you buy a pack of bandages and you stick them in your closet for uh, years and use one or two of them. Have you looked at all about the, the durability uh, the adhesive and, and whether it will last that long? Mm -hmm. well, um, we were working with Sasha Lauren. She made uh, kombucha couture and her clothes, she's made clothes with the PC. And her clothes, she has like one that's like three years old and it's still perfectly intact. It's starting to degrade a little bit, but it's Oh, yeah. So the adhesive is shown to last to up to a year or even more. So your bandage would, like the adhesive would work properly for up to a year at least. Yeah. Thanks for a great presentation. Um, I have two questions. The first one was, did you wear it for an afternoon? Oh, I have it on. Okay. <laughs> it, it, stayed, it stayed on? Yeah, it stayed on. I've had it on all morning to test it, and it's been on my finger. Did you guys wear it on a cut? Till tonight. On a well, cut? No. Well, we're not allowed to test on cuts yet because um, it's you yeah, have to go through regulations to be able to test on humans. So I don't have a cut, but I just tested the um, endurance and like the adhesive and everything to make sure that it works. And then my second question is related to the biodegradability. Um, you mentioned it, it'll break down within a few weeks. Did you pop it in the compost and yeah. test that out? Yes, we did. We put a piece in water and we watched it biodegrade and we checked back in in two weeks and it did start to disappear so it was a lot smaller. So it does begin biodegrading within two weeks. Okay, thanks for the presentation. Um, I think at the beginning you mentioned that the bandage needs to be as good as or better than what you can at CVS. So do you have, uh, what is your approach to sort of testing those properties, like the physical properties of the uh, the bandage other than wearing it, I mean, do you have, do you have a way to actually um, measure its kind of elasticity and different kinds of properties that might be important? So the fabric itself, um, 
the DC fabric, it has really good tensile strength. So, like, you know how you can stretch, like, elastics and, like, bandages usually wrap around? Same thing would happen. It's very comparable. Even if you go to our makerspace later, you, where you, we're going to let you, like, stretch it out and, like, feel it. So, in terms of comparing it with, like, durability and flexibility, yeah, they're comparable. And, like we mentioned before, in the aerogels, they're, like, just as and even more absorbent than, like, what you'd find in a gauze pad. Just a quick question. Um, if you go to the public and say, here's a bacterial cellulose bandage, um, do you think they would feel comfortable about putting something that was created from a bacteria onto an open skin? Well, bacteria are very is already used in hospitals and if they are worried about bacteria getting into the wound we can mention to them like we like we intend to do like a sterilization process as Savas said with um, an AOH at a food grade level to help the more skeptical people of bacteria cellulose because we do want to um, break it into the market and it's about branding right it's like yogurt or cheese it also has bacteria and we love it, so well, most people love it. <laughs> so yeah, so we definitely will work on that and creating like a brand around it and a constant mindset. Thank you so much, BioBandage. Yeah.